All right, so I already made this video once, and the cat has <laughs> the cats have messed everything up since. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten. Hey, come on. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen quarters. I think I had twenty-four dimes, uh, nine nickels, and a bunch of pennies. Uh, my one cat just come up and just rearranged everything the way she wanted it, I guess. And I got all that in the other video, but this piece of crap camera, uh, wouldn't download it. Alright, so let me go. Alright, just got a uh, suspender like s buckle. Just got a uh, new permission, and uh, it's my, well, it's not my first hole, it's my second hole. Well, the button's dated 1512, but I know that's not right. <laughs> so. It's, I like it though, it's interesting. I wish, uh, I wish it was from 1512. It's pretty cool. I've never seen one like it before. All right. Go back over it real quick. Uh, I got a, a suspender strap. This is three hunts. I got a button that says uh, 1512 on it. Now that's not the year it was made. It's probably made in the 50s. There's the shank. Uh, it's a replica, kind of a replica of a, of a 1512 that era coin it says Saul's Leonard Archipelli. Uh, it's an archbishop replica of a of a coin. Not exact, but close. Why they picked that, I don't know. Um, I got a compact. It says Lady. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, oh, Lady Esther, uh, Chicago. Uh, part of a uh, harmonica reed. Got a cool plane. At the beginning. Got a Hot Wheel. 2000. It's a pretty cool one. Interesting. It's a... Uh, took me forever to figure out what it was. I kept looking at it this way. I'm like, well, maybe that's a gun or... or you know, this way, and I just couldn't make anything out. And then I was in the back, you can see it just sits on something. And then all of a sudden I turn it upside down this way, all of a sudden, yeah, now I see that's a face with a hat. It's a guy standing in what probably is a trench coat. There's the legs and the boots, and, and then it has words down here that are backwards, and the letters are wrong on it backwards. Uh, basically, this is a printing plate. It's amazing printing plates are, you know, how much work go into this just to make a, <laughs> a print of a man. So, that's cool. I've never found one of these before. I've seen somebody find a bunch of them once. Um, but, this is my first. It's pretty cool. I was in like one of the oldest parts in Alpena too when I found it. So, all right, uh, let's see. Uh, all right, it took so long to get the camera working; it's not even exciting anymore. <laughs> uh, looks like I got a heart sitting right on top there, something heart shaped, and it has a pin in the back. Nice. Hmm. Uh, today I got a uh, heart earring. Took a while to figure out what that was. And I got a button. All right, it took some doing to get the camera working this time. Uh, I can see in the plug, I pried apart a little, like a coin ball. I can see a button right there. And uh, I didn't pull it all the way out. Looks like a nice one. 
Nice old button. Nice design. See what the back is. Back's a little rusted. All right, I'll take it. Got another one of these acorn buttons. It wasn't metal, it's a, it's a uh, oyster button. Made out of an oyster shell. That's pretty cool. A token. It says, uh, Zeander's Zander, uh, Splash Village. No cash value, no refund. That's it. Uh, a couple wheat pennies. All right, uh, just got a uh, wheat penny. That baby was deep. It barely, it barely registered as anything. It was right down there. I scratched it a little bit. I really thought it was garbage. Uh, that's about 11 inches. A panther, something or other. Probably a zipper pull or something. Could be. Back's just blank. Oh, I got this old uh, clip-on earring. The, uh, I cleaned it out. It had roots going through it everywhere. And the back actually still works. And the front is just missing everything. Whatever it was. Looks like a bunch of stones and something, probably stone in the middle too. Pretty cool, it's heavy. Almost looks silver. I suppose it could be. Button I got today. And another button. It's like a cufflink button. Did he show the plane? All right, and uh, of course the find of the day. I had to make a separate video for this because it was otherwise this would have been forever. This video would have been like a half hour long. So uh, it turns out to be a uh, 1918. Uh, I can't see the 19, but I can see the 18, and that's all you need. <laughs> Uh, to figure it out so walking liberty very pumped about this man I was very excited I wasn't expecting it and if you watch the the it was a live dig and if you watch it you'll understand why I wasn't sure what it was because there's no you notice the reeded edge there's no this this coin is so worn the reeded edge is gone so you know I was I was seeing the edge but it I wasn't recognizing it because it didn't have a reeded edge. And it took some figuring out. I thought it was a, 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 a ring at first. Popped it out. Yes. Alright, uh, I think that'll do it. We'll try this again. I'll try to upload it again. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient.